Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Katakis, and I'm with New Media Marketing. We're here today with my co-host, Pat from PMX. Hey, everybody. This is Patrick PMX. Uh, Mike and I are uh, looking to help you guys out and build your success online. I wanted to let you know, don't forget to visit our website at www.powerofnewmedia.com. And the, uh, the concept of the show really is to help educate everyone about this amazing, amazing revolution that's going online. And together, we're going to kind of enlighten you about the, uh, the opportunities out there to help your businesses grow, the opportunities to really put the message out there the right way. And I think if you just stop and take a second and look at how powerful this revolution is, you might be really amazed. So we're going to share some facts with you that are just trying to set the stage and get you some insight here of what's going on in the world of online marketing. A couple facts, Pat. One of them I think is just, uh, and, and you know, I think everyone might be uh, not too surprised about that, especially if you have a teenager, is the amount of texts that go on in a month by a U.S. average teen is 3,500 texts. I agree with you, Mike. You know, you you look at uh, teenagers these days and, uh, you know, they're getting out of class and doing their thing. And the first thing they're doing is walking around with their phone. Uh, you know, how do you, how do you get your message into those text messages to make sure that uh, you can advertise properly? And don't forget, you know, even, even as an adult, a lot of us uh, use our text messages, as a, you know, our primary form of communication, you know. And uh, you can find out a little bit more about that on uh, powerofnewmedia.com. So, you know, here's another amazing fact, Pat. This one, worldwide, now this is worldwide, we conduct 88 billion, as in B, billion searches per month on Google. That's 34,000 a second, 2 million a minute. And 75% of those users never scroll past that first page of the score results. Yeah, I agree. You know, it's like, um, you know, you always find yourself looking up your favorite recipe or finding that uh, famous restaurant or trying to get a number for somebody online. I mean, you know, what we're, we're going to try and do is help guide you guys on how to uh, capture some of that pie out there of all those searches that people are doing. And, uh, you know, it, it, you, what you find a lot of them are doing right now is uh, everybody is using their cell phones, you know, just like the text messaging thing you were just talking about, you know, and again, you can find that uh, uh, more about that on uh, our website at www.powerofnewmedia.com. But as far as getting a slice of that pie, what you want to make sure you're doing is uh, you're making sure that you have a nice mobile friendly presence. You know, you want the Google Plus in there. You want to make sure that you have your local listing set up. I mean, if uh, you're a brick and mortar business, which most of you out there, you know, your small business owner, and you're just trying to get by, you know, uh, you got to make sure that you, you, you're paying uh, close attention to what's listed out there. You know, and Mike and I are going to give you a bunch of pointers and tips on different platforms we use to keep uh, businesses up and running out there. And again, if you want more information on that, don't forget to visit our website at www.powerofnewmedia.com. Here's another one, Pat. Two billion videos are watched on YouTube every day. And YouTube has now become the second largest search engine next to Google. Oh yeah, and 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 something you know you gotta you gotta be able to do with the YouTube thing. If you notice, you know, and as a programmer, I've been programming forever. I mean, like since 1987, <laughs> since you know people were using ticker tapes. So you know, it's it's fun to see how everything moved from like ticker tapes to video. You know, and, and you can find the strangest things. You know, cats with uh, you know bread around their necks making people laugh to uh, direct advertising. You see coming up in the front of those commercials. And one of the key things. All you small business owners need to know out there is you need to have a presence on YouTube. You know, the first thing when somebody goes to a YouTube channel is they see a commercial. Why isn't that you? You know, that's how you're going to get that slice of the pie. And don't forget, if you want to find out more about that at www.powerofnewmedia.com, we'll sit there and explain it in detail to you. Well, I think, Pat, I think people realize that the power of new media and how much it can really home in, even in your own backyard. You know, today we can actually 
target that exact zip code with those key searches right into your own computer right there to really put that message out to those types of people that you might be trying to go after into those markets. Right, right. And, and you know, don't forget there are a lot of tools out there. You know, you got KeywordSpy.com, you got uh, Google Search, you got Webmaster Tools, you have Analyze, you have all these tools. But, you know, you got to remember that you, you, you want to hire a good, solid marketing company like the people at New Media to help you read those analytics because, you know, as a common person, you're just trying to, you know, set up your business. You're trying to run your business every day. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of people cut that budget on marketing and they don't realize that it's a utility out there. You know, and, uh, you know, if you're not capturing all these different things and you're not bringing it to a good marketing professional like ourselves, you know, you're going to wind up uh, missing the boat when it comes to getting new business online. Again... Yeah, again, I think Pat's right. I, I think uh, if you're just joining us, my name is Michael Katakis. I'm here with my co-host, uh, Pat from PMX. Together we are, uh, are talking about the power of new media, which is the, uh, the show that we're going to be bringing to you every, uh, every Sunday to really try to educate you about the, the opportunities out there to help your business grow and really trying to wade through all the craziness. You know, Pat, uh, you know, 85% of U.S. adults are in line. Here's another amazing fact. 93% of them are on Facebook. And that's one out of every eight minutes that's spent online is spent on Facebook. Facebook alone is, is extremely powerful. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you guys know. I mean, you guys have Facebook pages. You know how it is. You know, sometimes you're getting stuff from family. Sometimes you have old girlfriends that look you up just out of the blue. But uh, all in all, if you can get your message out on social media and somebody likes it, listen, that means that all their friends are going to see that message. So one key factor when you're doing work on Facebook is to make sure people like your stuff. And don't be boring. Boring people get nowhere. You're interesting. You know you're interesting. Just let it go. Get out there. Get on social media. Get people to like your stuff and get new business. Again, you find out more about that on www.powerofnewmedia.com. It's funny. You know, we, we always say that every, every company has to become like a media content company. And it really has changed. The paradigm has changed. Everyone in business is trying to shift their budgets towards you know this inbound marketing which is really the overall you know kind of concept of bringing people into you you know through email through seo or search engine optimization and social media because you know statistically pat it's 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 costing 62 percent less than conventional outbound marketing of print tv and radio you know so your average cost per lead is about 373 dollars with print tv and radio now you can get that cost down to $143 average, you know, and that's all through the power of new media. I think a lot of times companies get so overwhelmed with all of their opportunities, you know, and I think it's important for us to try to wade through all the craziness out there, Pat, and really get people to understand the power of new media. Yeah, I agree, Mike. I mean, you got to look at it this way. I mean, why was the computer invented, right? Because we're here to automate things. That's why it's so much cheaper than it is doing print or any of those other things out there because we have automated the way we're delivering the message to people. Your message. It's your message to people. You know, and uh, it, it, it's a great thing out there to see how everybody is really starting to react and engage online. And, uh, you know, to really take charge of your destiny, you got to make sure that you're online and you got to make sure you're delivering your message to people. And again, if you want to find out a little bit more information about that, we can, you can visit our website at www.powerofnewmedia.com. So, you know, I think everyone um, is kind of aware of the power as we're starting to, uh, to you know, give you examples of all of this. But we really need to think about it as, as holistically as how to tune into this and where to start, Pat. I think everyone gets so overwhelmed with so many opportunities. And, you know, am I on Google? Am I on Facebook? Am I on Tumblr? Am I on this social media, that social media? Um, you know, I think what we want to try to help define for people is where do you start? Where do you get this whole thing? Yeah, going? Here, here's here. I got a great recommendation for all you listeners out there. Okay, if you're just getting out of your car, if you're just getting in it, if you're on your way to work, or if you're on your way out of work and going to the beach today, which is where we should be. <laughs> okay, your first step is going to www.powerofnewmedia.com and getting in contact with us, and we are going to help define your future online. So together, what we've realized, and 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 uh, you know, we'll share a little bit about you know our secret recipes, but at the beginning. It, 
really does start with that. Well, you always say the hook, look, and feel, Pat, and that's that message. And if you got that message down, Pat, and we're going to get into this in other shows of how to define that message. But once that message is defined, you then got to start to put it out there to all of these social aspects and, and, and to all the different type of social media that's out available. And the main thing is that you always want to stay clear with your messaging and stay clear with your services and your products and tell the story. You know, like Pat was saying earlier, everyone's got a story to tell. And it's no different from a mom and pop pizza all the way up to a McDonald's. How is that story going to get out there? Listen, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and tell you a little bit more about storytelling. Again, my name is Michael Katakis with New Media Marketing. And I'm here with my co-host, Pat from PMX. All right. Have a good time. <laughs> 